Hello friends, how are you? Today I have certain questions for you. Why are metal shapes important in constructing the steel structures? Why certain shapes like I or H shape, T shape or hollow circular rectangular shapes, plates? Why only these shapes are available? Why not other shapes like P, Q, R? These shapes, why these are not available? If you know the answer, please type it in the comments. We will see various structural steel shapes according to ASC. W, M, S and H, P shape. They are W shape is wide flange shape. M is miscellaneous shape. S is American standard beams. HP is bearing piles. Its nominal depth is in inches and nominal weight in LB per feet. And they are designated as example W 24 by 55. That means W shape beam 24 inch deep and it weighs 55 lb per feet. Now we will see them one by one. W shape that is wide flange shape. They are in the shape of English letter I. This is the flange and this is the wave. And nominal depth is from topmost layer to bottommost layer. They are used as beams, columns, bracings, truss members and they have inner and outer flange parallel. So this is from construction manual. This is the radius R. Then thickness of the flange is denoted by TF. Total depth D and thickness of the wave is TW, height of the wave is T, then <clears throat> width of the flange as BF and this is K1, this is K. M shape that is miscellaneous shape these are lightweight shapes and they have slope inner flange surface or other cross sections and this is the cross section with the designations S shape that is American standard beams they have slope of approximately 16 to the power 2 by 3 percentage on inner flange surface. So this is the slope. HP shape, they are also known as bearing piles. They are like W shape except wave and flange are of equal thickness. Depth and flange width nominally equal. So, this is wave that is TW and flange TF are equal. TF is equal to TW and BF is equal to T. Now we will see channels. American standard channel C. They have slope of approximately 16 to the power 2 by 3 percentage on inner flange surface. And they are designated example as C 12 by 25 means C shape 12 inch deep and weighs 25 lb per feet. Miscellaneous channel shapes. 
their S shape, they have slope other than 16 to the power 2 by 3 percentage on inner flange surface and designated as C 12 by 25 means C shape 12 inch deep and weighs 25 lb per feet. This is the diagram from the construction manual. Angles L consist of two legs of equal or unequal widths. The legs are at right angle to each other. So this is plastic neutral axis and this is Z axis, Y axis, X axis. This is the YP distance of outermost layer from the plastic neutral axis. XP Y bar X bar angle alpha the angle between Z axis and Y axis and this is the K Structural T's WT, MT and ST. They are made by splitting W, M and S shapes usually along mid depth of their wave. So this is W shape I beam and it is cut at its mid depth and made as in WT shape. Similarly, MT shape and ST shape. WT 12 by 27 5 means W shape T 12 inch deep and 27.5 LB per feet weight. Hollow structural sections are rectangular, square or round. They are manufactured by ERW, that is Electric Resistance Welding Method, or SAW, Submerged Arc Welding Method. These sections allow designer and builders to produce aesthetically interesting structures and efficient compression members. They are designated as rectangular HSS 10 by 10 by 1 half that means this 10 by 10 is overall outside dimension in inches and wall thickness in inches. They are used as column, beam, bracing, truss component, curtain wall framing etc. Now we will see the shapes, pipes, these are available in standard extra strong, double extra strong. Pipes up to and including NPS 12, that is nominal pipe size 12 inch, are called pipes and they are designated as pipes. Example, pipe 5 standard, that means pipe with 5 inch nominal diameter and 0.258 inch wall thickness and pipes with wall thickness that do not correspond to foregoing wall thicknesses are designated as pipe outside diameter inches by wall thickness in inches for example pipe 14 inch diameter and 0.375 inch thickness. Historically, there is very little difference between plates and bars. Raw stock is bar if its width is less than or equal to 8 inch and raw stock is plate if its width is greater than 8 inch. So visually we can see here this is the plate, its width is greater than 8 inch and this is the bar, its width is less. And they are designated like this. 
plates are defined by rolling processes and the three rolling processes are sheared plates universal plates and strip plates on sheared plates it is rolled between rolls and trim on all edges universal plates are rolled between horizontal and vertical rolls and trim on ends only and strip plates are furnished to required width from wider sheared plates thank you so much for being with me throughout this video happy learning if you have any comments or any feedback for my improvement please type that in the comment box i am really grateful to you for your support thank you so much if you find this video useful then please share it will help others and subscribe to get notified about the new videos.